Hi YouTube, in this video I'm gonna talk about uh, Dell Inspirance 13 inch 7000 uh, series P91G laptop uh, with 8th uh, eighth generation processor, Core i5 processor. I'm not sure if it matters, but uh, I'm gonna talk about the, uh, the hinge separation uh, repair and the uh, little tricks on how to get the screen out. I saw a couple videos on YouTube uh, but they didn't, they, you know, it was not exactly the same as this particular computer I had. So uh, I believe on this uh, particular model, I'm not sure it's, if it's been fixed later, but you know, this is what I got here. It's uh, revision A02. This uh, hinge, hinge uh, holders, basically, they're not welded to the, to the uh, back LCD cover. And this is, it seems to be aluminum. Here and here, this I'm not sure this is aluminum, but uh, it, it, it this is just glued to the aluminum, and they get separated. I believe it's a pretty common issue. Uh, as I said, I'm not sure if it's been fixed in the later models, but this gets separated, and the and the screen just you know it, it just it's not usable. It just just separates basically right here. Just gets unglued this pieces right here. And uh, this one actually break, uh, broke right here on this, uh, on this, on, on the line. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm gonna talk uh, on how to, how I got it, how I got the screen out on this particular model. So I'm gonna show real quick on uh, how to, uh, you know, the basic stuff. How to uh, take it apart first. So you obviously remove these screws right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven screws on the back cover. You take the back cover off. You disconnect the battery. Make sure you disconnect the battery first. The battery's off. Then you remove basically the um, let me see where is it? The hinges. Mm. How was it? Mm. Yeah, this is was like this. So yeah, they just remove these screws right here. There's a couple screws. It's it's pretty straightforward basically. Remove all the screws from the hinges, and you don't have to take you don't have to take just a little uh, trick here. You don't have to take the logic board out. Basically, this uh, uh, antenna antenna cables right here. There is a there is a, a little bit of uh, a glue strip underneath there. So you just disconnect the fan and disconnect the. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what it is actually. Probably a uh, power button, maybe. Well, but and 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 just uh, just make sure to uh, wiggle the cable underneath a little bit right there, and it just get unglued, and you you can just uh, remove it from under the sink pipe. Just and same way, you just put it back in when you, when you when you uh, assemble the laptop. Uh, so this is just a little quick on how to take it apart. And then the main part is actually here, because as I said, I didn't see this particular uh, uh, computer on YouTube. So I uh, just decided to make a quick video on uh, on how I got it, up, got it off, because uh, what you're gonna see here, uh, uh, let me put it back together real quick so what you're gonna see here when you remove this screen and remove so basically it's gonna be like that so you remove this uh, little strip little plastic thing right here okay you remove that and you will see right here right here you will see on these both sides coming up here and here you're gonna see two little strips like a like a black plastic strips so what it is, is on, as I said, on this particular uh, screen, I did not see it uh, uh, anywhere else. So I was just, you know, was not sure, you know, how to get it out. But what, what it is right here with these two little strips is like little black plastic strips. Uh, this is the glue. This is the uh, expandable glue, the way, you know, same, same kind of glue they use on the iPhone batteries. So uh, you just, you just, Pick that up, and just uh, you know, it it's, it it might make sense to uh, to warm up. You know, these strips are going right here. Uh, let me see. So basically, 
in this in this about like that they go so uh, to warm it up from the from the uh, underneath with the heat gun on a on a low temperature i use 320 uh what it is 320 320 Fahrenheit. And then, and then, so this is uh, this is not a regular heat gun. You can adjust the temperature on this one. So, so as I said, you can you can warm them up so they don't break. But this is just uh, expandable glue strips uh, that uh, that is used to hold this screen in place uh, with with the addition of the. Of some clips on top so if you don't remove that glue it's gonna be a super hard to separate the screen as I said this you know this is the places this is the this is where these uh, glue strips go right here right here and on this side right here so you have an idea on where this uh, little plastic thing is gonna be about uh, this is magnetic so about about right here, two little strips, two little strips of uh, plastic. So you just you just take it and you just expand it, and it's just gonna uh, stretch, it's just like stretchable glue. It's gonna stretch, 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 and it's gonna remove it, so you can move it on the side. But this is the and then after that, basically it, it's pretty straightforward. So when you remove the glue strips from here and from here, you just lift it up and uh, work your way around just make sure uh, i use uh, where is it yes i use this uh, uh, 0 0.58 millimeter uh, guitar picks this one is already so out of work anyway and uh, you just uh, you just work all your way around just don't don't put the just don't put this uh, plastic or guitar uh, clip or whatever you use in between in between this plastic and this plastic bezel and uh, an aluminum uh, back cover because this is glued together so the only thing that removes uh, is re is removed is the glass glass top so this is just you just work, work your way around the glass glass and plastic glass and plastic right here and this is going to be you know this as, as soon as you remove these two uh glue strips this is going to be pretty easy to separate Okay, yep, like that. This and also, as I said, this has a little notches here on the top. So uh, basically, this is the uh, little help for you guys to get the screen out. And uh, and I would think I would I would uh, I would say that if you are uh, just a regular D uh, DIY guy, I'm not sure if this is gonna be an easy repair for you because uh, it is. It is easy for these glue strips to break. Basically, I had one out fine, so I just it was stretched all the way, all the way to the end, and I, I removed it. The other strip actually broke in the beginning, so I got it out about till here, and then broke, and it was still still stuck here on the side of the screen. So uh, and it was it was pretty pretty. Uh, Hard to take this to unglue the screen from the back cover, plus all this uh, all these uh, uh, latches on the top. So I, I don't I don't I don't like using any type of uh, alcohol or anything or or anything that uh, dissolves the glue on, on on the screen because if you pour some alcohol there, it can easily get in the screen right here, and this is gonna be not good. So don't use any alcohol here. You can use it to clean it to clean to clean the glue, but don't 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 use alcohol to undo the glue from the back cover. So uh, as I said, uh, this is more for uh, my fellow technicians on uh, little tricks here on how to get the screen out. But uh, for the DIY guys, uh, I would I would be really worried. Really, I would think twice basically to get uh, on this repair. And uh, uh, and uh, what I did to what I used to uh, to get uh, to to glue back the 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 hinge holders. As I said, these hinge holders it's it's not welded. You know, it's not welded. This is just uh, uh, the glue was used. 
the glue was used and not not a lot of glue too that's why it got undone so uh i hope i'm not sure i'm gonna probably um do a little update on the uh on the on how it goes with the after uh after some use but this is what i used to get this uh back in place to glue it and uh, this is the strongest glue i found the strongest uh, epoxy ep epoxy glue um i was able to find to find uh, um locally and uh so you know you can just basically uh follow the directions on the on the on the package and uh, this these things i used to hold it in place like that like that after i you know after i glue it like that and basically a little bit right here on this side so okay this is i think this is uh the paper the paper uh clips binder clips okay so but, i mean this is just the stuff i had around so it was uh it was pretty pretty uh straightforward okay and uh as i said i'm gonna uh probably if it's i i i think it's gonna work because this is pretty pretty strong this is pretty strong epoxy epoxy glue and uh, i really hope it's gonna work otherwise you can also replace the whole back cover but as i said if they did not redesign this back cover if they did not weld you know do did it properly you know weld this uh this hinge holder to the back cover if they did not do it it will get undone in the same way because this it was just a couple couple little uh, uh, strips of glue that was used here originally and it's not gonna hold so you know even if you replace it with the same one it will break I'm, I'm, I, I can guarantee that so that's why I decided to actually glue this in place with the strong glue instead of replacing this whole thing because in, in my opinion, you know, if it was not redesigned, it, this is just a huge design flaw on the Dell side. And uh, we'll see. I think this, the, I think this the repair, you know, in my opinion, will hold better than the replacement one, you know, in uh, long, long, longevity wise. I mean, just longer, I think. Okay, so a uh, uh, couple numbers here once again. 2018-1022, this is the revision A02, and they, I don't know what kind of revision is that, but it's a bad revision. <laughs> it's not a good revision. So, um, uh, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video will help someone uh, tinkering with this particular model. And uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye, guys. Happy New Year.